way up in that, uh, that little corner right there, that's where we're heading. I just had a bite in the most dangerous place of the whole lake. <laughs> Boys, I really dig that they're digging this. It's pretty cool. Not a single complaint out of any of them. Even though the weather's just gross up here. All right, looks like they're hanging out just at this ice lip. Oh man. Eat a fish. Come on. There we go. All right. Check it out! Of course I don't bring any stuff with me. So I gotta do this all by hand. Hope it makes it. Cause I ain't going down there to get it. <laughs> and go little buddy, come on. You're good. 
tell your buddies you just had a nice snack. There's another one coming out. There's another one, and that one's big. Or it's about... Another one! And that, my friends, is a nice cutthroat. It's got its spawning colors. And that other, his little buddy's gone. Good. So I'm wor I was worried here, big time, bringing up the boys and not catching a thing. And now two in a row. And I really hope they get something so they want to keep doing this. Because that's what this is all about. So yeah, what are we at? About a half a pound each of those things. One's maybe a little bit better. But that you know you're not expecting anything any any larger really than that out of something this high altitude. There's just no food in this lake to get big. We're here for the fun. Not for the big fish. And there and we're here for being in some of the most beautiful beautiful places in the face of the planet. That's where these fish live. They don't get big generally. They're sure pretty, and they live in the prettiest parts of the earth. So we can work with that. Let's see if we can get something down. So all I've got on right now is a brass. Meps number two, Aglia. I'd rather have a silver, but I lost it over there in that submerged tree, way over on the waterfall. So I gotta make up a batch of those. Actually make my own. I can make them up for about a buck each, as opposed to paying seven or whatever they're charging for these things now. You can customize them, put beads on, make them look extra juicy. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but I give the, once the, the spinner's cast, I give it a little uh, jerk at the end of the, of the rod. And the, the whole reason for that is to get the action of that spinner going. Sometimes they, they get a little fouled up when it's moving through the air or when it hits the water. I wonder if that was prime time, two fish. <laughs> And yeah, if I go in here, that's it for me. Toast. There's no way to, nowhere to swim out. I gotta make damn sure I've got my footing. Oh! That was a nice tub. iceberg but uh, I, I went and filtered some water back there and it basically paralyzed my hand as soon as I stuck my hand in the water oh my god is that cold so yeah I'd probably I'd probably go in a shock yeah, for Uncle Joel <laughs> hey but hey like much better way to die than uh, lying in a bed, in a hospital bed with cancer or something like that. At least you die with your boots on. Yeah, those boots wouldn't help me swim though. And sometimes at the very end of the retrieve, we'll give it a couple jigs at the end. These cutthroats sometimes they'll sometimes take it see after they see a little different presentation. The normal spinning working. 
You see a jig and flashing around like that, that'll annoy them, and they'll usually take it right at the end. But that's summertime. Who knows? It's only late June here. That ain't summer up here. <laughs> I think that's justice walking around in his shorts on a glacier. Be careful! I don't know if you caught it later, earlier on, but I had a strike on the maps and it came right over top of that white submerged ice and it just looked badass. They almost looked black. Totally see him. There's one down there. Yeah, he's swimming around. Oh, JJ. JJ lost his fish. Probably my hook. Come on, follow that in. Give me. Well, we know we're, they're in here. And they know, we know they're eating a little bit. I wish I brought my crampons. That would have been a lot cooler than this. Okay, I'm trying something a little bit risky here. I guess it's not really risk. I'm trying a number three maps. Great big spinner for this, this lake. The reason why is because it's the only silver color I've got left that's of any size. And it can cast a little better, so let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get a couple whacks anyway. I'd like that. Spinner seems to be the only thing working today. Spoons, no. Deadly dicks, no. Castmasters, no. <clears throat> Those guys are going across the trail we made. You're welcome. Here we go. Yeah. Got what? On a number three. Good thing they're not big, these things, or else I'd have a hard time tow trucking them up the shore like so. That's a nice looking fish. I love these things. They, they spawn and they just get these gorgeous colors. Now my hand is frozen. Well, I guess it wasn't so much of a risk after all. It, uh, well, the risk paid off. Usually I save these big number threes for brown trout. I'm gonna have to start moving up the number fours for brown trout or maybe number fives. Going big. Oh, jeez. Got another one. Oh, they want to, they're, they're not messing around with small stuff. Beautiful. I guess if you have a Lynn Thompson number eight, it's not much, it's not really, it's big. So this is probably 
not really that hard to understand why it's working so well then. Oh, beautiful action. Bring it up and down, up down our little ice shelf. There's another one. Oh, this is this is really cool. Number three, another one. And that's the thing about these fish is they look really skinny. There's nothing to eat in these lakes over the winter time. Behold the majesty. Use these guys. Now I can hear it now. I'm gonna hear a lot of crying. Dad, how come you didn't give us the right hook? <laughs> well, I hope they come over here and then I'll give them a couple of these things. Give it a shot. This is almost every cast. And this number three maps cast like a dream compared to those little number ones and twos. We need them to catch some fish. You can hear Jay getting mad. You got another one? <laughs> oh, there we go. That one got off. This is the key, just shooting it down this bank. They're all, they're all hit, uh, hanging out right on the edge of this submerged ice where you want to go is i i went along this ledge and then can you see that submerged ice yeah. they're hanging around just at that submerged ice that's where i always bring them in and then what happens is is that they'll follow it you can actually see them swimming after the hook on the ice you can see them they're like uh it's blatant it's crazy but I'm going to put on a rain jacket because I'm cold. I can't even imagine what you guys are like right now. Who cares though? Go get some fish. Go on. JJ. Okay, son. Oh. Yeah, they slowed down. We should probably think about going back. Going back. I'm too sketched out right now from that. Look at this. We just came down that instead of uh, we just bypassed that whole gar forest of climbing and mud. So that's pretty good. Boys, well, they very pretty much skied down the slope. Crazy. I'm gonna make you guys wait. You guys can move on down the path, and I'll fish them right now on this. Yeah? It should only be about six hours. Nothing better than this. Doesn't look like there's anything in this stream, but we will try. We'll cast off the bridge.
I'm having a great day. I love being with my kids and their friends. Awesome. It's our final road. And this one is seems like it's extra extra long. Yeah, so we're done. How did that feel, you guys? It was good. good. Going into uh, the hockey season, how do you think that's going to help you? Do you think you can get that kind of cardio doing other stuff? Do you guys have any equipment destroyed today? <laughs> I lost a K-bar knife. Uh, feels like my boots lost half a year of tread life on them. Uh, I fell on my butt. Uh, got a big chunk taken out of my finger. How about you guys? Uh, it's not that cool. <laughs> That was cool though, because we got to bypass the actual climb. Yeah. That muddy part. So that's that's actually really good. The only thing I would say is for you guys, we'll have to get a whole bunch of trekking poles and definitely get some better shoes for that kind of stuff. I was a little bit scared at the start of the day that we weren't going to catch any fish, and I think I went through every last hook in my in my tackle box. I wasn't able to use the flies because it was too windy, but I went to the every last hook and then I ended up going through a bigger hook than I've ever used for cutthroat trout before, a number three maps, and they actually went for that and nothing else. So go figure. Anyways, you guys, thanks very much for coming out there with me and enjoying what I love doing so much. Thank you. Enjoyed seeing you guys enjoy it so much. That's great. Thanks.